Welcome to an episode of Paranormal Tuesdays. My name is Sissy or Mia, depending on the day. Who do you think it is today? Comment down below. And I am a weird psychic medium, all these nice words. And every Tuesday, we sit down and I'm reacting to paranormal investigations, telling you what I see, hear, feel, what they're doing wrong, what they're doing right. Yeah, and today we are reacting to another two psychics, okay? Another two psychics reacting to twin paranormal that I reacted to last week and the week before that. So if you're interested to see my approach on it, go ahead and gonna be somewhere there. Anyway, but we're going with meta psychics once again because I fucking love them. If you haven't seen my videos of them saying that I fucking love them, go watch them because I fucking love them. So, we're again doing in two parts like they have. So, let us get started. Let's go. There's people at Let's all go. points in time, and right now I feel like they don't like all of the, the human souls that are there. There's definitely other weird things there. Didn't I say that Toby is not a human, like, spirit? I I love I love when that shit happens. When I'm saying something and then someone else fucking confirms it and I'm like yeah. yeah Um I don't do the what they call it remote viewing beforehand. Uh I've mentioned that before but the reason why I'm not doing it is because I feel like I'm gonna be biased to what i see i'm not saying they are biased but i want to go in the whole thing with with the role whatever i'm feeling at that moment not just be like oh yeah i saw this in the remote viewing so i'm seeing this right now uh i just want to go like grow whatever i'm seeing that's it but four or five of the seven don't like that the people go there so they've actually gotten angry about it so what do you think I see a banshee looking lady. Interesting. I see a man and he's very pissed. I see a dude in, or sorry, a lady in some uh, nightgown thing with long kind of wavy hair that's messy and dark. Flashback. What did I say in the beginning? C was murdered in her sleep with dark brown wavy hair. <laughs> Sorry. And getting scratched on camera. You see a portal like underneath the house or something like in the basement or something i don't know that texas has basements but if there is one it's in the bottom left of the house if you're facing it so if you walk in the front door it's to the left in the back corner because so i see that dark thing coming out of a portal and they're like the portal allows it to be extremely haunted because it feeds energy to the smaller things that does the big things bidding I did not see a portal, but if you go on the thing, I, on the second part, I said that I have a feeling that it might have been um, Native American burial ground. And the reason why I said it is because most of the time when these stuff are built on top of burial grounds, especially Native American uh, burial grounds, there is lots of rage. And that's what I was feeling. That's why I mentioned it. So I didn't see a portal and stuff, but I had the feeling of that. Might be a portal, might be burial ground. Could be both. Is Toby here? Toby, we want to speak to you. Is your real name Asmodeus? <laughs> Maybe you're the one that dragged that girl Thank out you. of bed. Thank you. Right now. You guys have the O negative, too. 
We heard that that's the blood that you like. My twin and I. <laughs> Again, thank you. Is that roll was saying? So when it said sickness took me, they told me that it was like mental sickness. Hmm. Like it slowly ate away at their brain. Who? I think it was a man. A different dude? Yeah. Like he lost his, his mind. Is that after it became haunted by these weird things? Weird dudes? Yes. So were the weird dudes making them lose their mind? Possibly. <laughs> Part one. I said that the guy in the bathtub killed himself. Mental illness took me and he shot himself. You know, I could see that people. Yeah. Um, and it was a man who in the right mind that wasn't depressed and wanted to end it would have gone to the bus up and point a gun in his mouth and shoot yeah okay so i do find it interesting that they don't see the children because i saw the children and like i said in part one i was saying how i feel like there is different timelines so there is good there is bad yeah but like the bad which is toby it does not familiarize himself with the good which was the children and that woman that both me and i'm so bad with names i'm sorry so basically the woman that we both saw sees the good one but she doesn't know about toby because they're not in the same timeline so Anyway, stay tuned for part two. Bye.